In this video, we're going to be talking about interpreting graphs of functions. We're going to skip the preview, and we're just going to go down and we're going to talk about vocabulary. So write the definition next to each term. Domain. Domain are all of the x values of a function or relation. The range is all of the y values of a function or relation. The x-coordinate is the first number in an ordered pair. And the y-coordinate is the second number in an ordered pair. All right, new vocabulary. We're going to match each term with its definition. All right, the x-intercept. This is the x-coordinate of a point where the graph crosses the x-axis. The end behavior is how the graph function, the graph of a function's behave at the end, sorry. End behavior is how the values of a function behave at the, at the each end of the graph, at each end of the graph. Okay, extrema. Let's see the maximum or minimum values of a function. So they are the extreme values. The maximum and the minimum are considered the extreme values. And this says extrema, kind of has the same root as extreme. I might add that in there to help you remember extreme values. So the very, very high values are very, very low values. The y-intercept is the y-coordinate where the point, uh, the y-coordinate of the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. A line of symmetry is when a function is divided by a vertical line into two halves that match exactly. Think about a butterfly, they're symmetrical, or the human body, symmetrical, vertically. Increasing or decreasing, this is the graph as it goes up or down. The graph as it goes up or as it goes down when viewed from left to right. And then positive and negative, this is when the graph uh, on the graph when it lies above the x-axis or below the x-axis. So there's your vocabulary match. All right, going on to the second page. Referring to the graph of f of x, identify the function as linear or nonlinear, then estimate and interpret, interpret the intercepts. All right, so if I take a look at this graph right here, this picture, it definitely doesn't form a line. So this is a nonlinear function does not make a line. X-intercepts, that's where the graph crosses the x-axis. So if I look at my picture right here, I know I'm crossing here, crossing here, crossing here, and crossing here. So my x-intercepts are at 0, 1, 2, and 3. So again, x-intercepts are where you cross the x-axis. Y-intercepts are where you cross the y-axis. So I'm looking at my y-axis right here. And I cross at one point. I cross right there. That's halfway between 4 and 8. So my y-intercept is at 6. Referring to the graph of f of x, estimate and interpret where the function is positive, negative, increasing, and decreasing the x-coordinate of any relative extrema and the end behavior of the graph. All right, so where is my graph positive? So I'm looking at everywhere that my graph is positive. So my graph is positive um, when x is less than 0. So everywhere here's x is, oh, sorry, that's, that's negative 1. So when x is less than negative 1, there's my axis right there. Bold that in a little bit better so I can see it. 
So when x is less than negative 1, my graph is positive. Dips around to be negative here. I've got a point here and here. So when x is between, when x is between 1 and 2, so I have positive when x is between 1 and 2. So when 1 is less than x and x is less than 2, I go negative again. And then at the end, I'm going to be positive when x is greater than 3. All right, where is my graph negative? We've got two places. X is going to be, um, the graph is going to be negative when x is between negative 1 and 1. And 1. And then we're going to be negative again when the graph is between 2 and 3. So when x is between 2 and 3. All right, where is my graph increasing? So where is my graph going up? So i got to read from left to right. Okay, so right here, if I'm reading from left to right, my graph is going down, 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 down. And then here, it starts to rise again. So my graph is going to be increasing when x is between 0 and that's about 1 and a half. Okay, when is my graph going to be um, increasing again? We go down some more, and then if I look at between here and here, my graph is going to be increasing when x is between 2 and a half and 3. Okay, where is my graph decreasing? So as I read from left to right, I need to see where my graph is going down. So my graph is decreasing while x is less than 0. So when x is less than 0, my graph is decreasing. Okay, start going up again. My graph is going to start decreasing between about 1 and a half and 2 and a half. So between 1 and a half and 2 and a half. And then my graph is going to be increasing the rest of the way, so there are no more. The extrema, those are your local maximums and minimums. So that's kind of where the um, graph shifts. So you can see right here, we have a minimum, right? It's kind of like a valley. Here we have a peak, and here we have another valley. So we have a extrema or an extreme point at x equals 0, or approximately x equals 0. We have one at approximately x equals one and a half. And we have another one at approximately x equals two and a half. And then the end behavior, so that's when we're looking at what's happening at the two ends of the graph. So we're looking here and here. So at the end, the graph tends to infinity at each end. And so what that means is as it continues to rise, it, it goes up and up and up, and it tends towards infinity. It's going to keep going up. And then this side, same thing. It tends towards positive infinity. It's going to continue to go up to positive numbers. All right? Helping you remember. A good way to remember something is to explain it to someone else. Suppose one of your classmates is having trouble understanding the difference between end behavior and extrema. How might you explain the difference to him or her? Okay. So the end behavior, that's what occurs at each end of the graph. Okay, so it's what happens all the way to the left and all the way to the right. The extrema, these are things that happen in the middle of the graph. Okay, so there are things that are going on um, in the middle. 
So again, if you look at our picture, our end behavior, we kind of showed that with orange. That's what's happening at the end. And then the extrema I showed with green. That's kind of what's happening in the middle. So those are your hills and valleys that are going on um, in the middle. So there's your, your peaks and valleys. So your extrema, you're looking for your peaks and valleys. So it's IES. All right. So hopefully that helps you understand how to interpret the picture of a graph. And I'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good night.